G'day, I'm Dan. This is Epic Drives Western Australia, the channel dedicated to showcasing this great state. Join me, my family, and my mates as we travel this truly amazing state we call home and discover what makes this place truly epic. New episodes are released on the first of every month. So if you've liked what you've seen so far, why not subscribe? And please don't hesitate to like, share, or comment. And don't forget to click the bell so you don't miss our next adventure. Next time you're out in your Forby and you happen to see us out on the tracks, make sure to say g'day, have a chat, share your stories. Hey, I might even share my beer with you. Anyway, that's about enough from me. Hope to see you again on Epic Drives Western Australia. We're off on our next adventure to uh, Ningen Station and just pulled off that Ginger's Roadhouse, just waiting for Matt to come. Then heading up Great Northern Highway through Bindoon, New Norcia, Dalwollanyu to Woburn, and then we're going to end up eventually at Ningen Station. We've had a lot of rainfall this winter and it's evident around the fertile farmlands in and around the Shire of Victoria Plains. This area is most notable for its Benedictine town of New Norcia. It's now sadly bypassed by a new highway and passes us by as we cruise northwards. The soil starts to turn ochre red, typical of much of the interior of WA. And as the sun sinks below the horizon, we pull into Ningen Station where we make camp for the night. Day two, this is uh, War Dagger campsite, Ningen Station. We to see Don who runs the joint yesterday, but he was out, left us a nice message and told us to come up to this campsite. It's a really, really nice spot. And today we're leaving Ningen Station and we're heading north. Um, and eventually going to end up at Burnabinma Station. And there's a few sites along the way we're going to look at. The Ningen area served as a traditional meeting place for many of the traditional landowners. They traded balga gum in exchange for spearheads and ochre sourced from this area. And as such, Wardagger Hill is an important cultural site. Needless to say, this place should be treated with great respect and access is only permitted by prior arrangement with Ningen Station. Leaving Ningen Station, our first stop for the day is Yo Hills. I'm hoping to find the location of a gold mine that dates back to the late 1800s. Throwing the cars into four wheel drive, we ascend the hill and right there, sitting on top, is the old mine, known as King's Fine. This place gives us a glimpse of what gold mining was like over 130 years ago.
Gold was discovered here, however extracting it was hindered by the high amounts of copper and the mine never really took off. I couldn't help but imagine how hard life must have been like back then as I climbed back into my comfy air-conditioned four-wheel drive and headed back down the hill. In regional Australia, roads like the one we're on now are considered highways. Named Pines Fine Thundalara Road, this highway takes travellers on a 966 figure eight journey from Pines Fine up to Meekathara. We found this dried riverbed for our camp tonight, so <laughs> there's not too much rain. It uh, hasn't been a river for quite, a, quite some time. Bit of open space, all bush around us. This is our final night, this is where we're staying. And then back home tomorrow. Matt's just lighting the fire. Plumber's crack. Yeah. Day number three. It's our last day today. It was freezing last night. None of us slept that well, but yeah, it's all part of the part of the fun, isn't it? Part of the adventure. We've got about 30 k's to go before we get to Burn a Bin Mass Station. Check out a couple of interesting spots, and then we're on the way home. Our journey was coming to an end, so we took our time to break camp. So many days is yet to come. So many times has come to pass. So many moments put aside. Getting out alive. Getting out alive.
we've reached the black top end of the unsealed road section so we're airing up heading south towards perth we reach karen dam opened in 1915 it was hand dug by 50 men it's an important water source for local farmers the tin roof it certainly is a unique way of storing water so there you have it that's the end of the trip thanks all for watching and especially those of you that subscribe leave a comment it means a lot if you haven't subscribed already please just consider consider doing it so you can keep up to date with our next adventure so we've done about a thousand k's this trip three days and about 16 hours of driving. Good weather. Escape from the cold, wet weather at Perth. Until next time, catch ya. Up in your 